going to show you some other exercise. You know, you know the one with the hands. Yeah, these are fantastic. This is tremendous. It gives you flexibility and speed. Now do it the opposite way. You actually do this with your elbows. You're doing it, hands and forearm and elbows right there. So you can feel the difference between just locking this and swinging the arm. You got the hands. That, you got all the action of the wrist. Done basically with the forearm muscles, you see. Oh. Okay. See, in, in doing that, when you, the infraspinatus, the supraspinatus, the teres muscles all in play. Understand? And when you lift this arm here, that's done with the deltoid. When you pull it this way, it's done with the peg. When you go back that way, it's the lat. So, this is the peg. That's the lat. This is the deltoid, okay? So you make yourself familiar with the different muscles that you exercise. Now, do a swing, okay? You see how all of these exercises come into play to develop the proper swing. See, now don't stop. Now you that. Excellent. That's the correct position. You have your center of gravity out here and the center back of it. Let's go ahead and make a swing. Hold this position. You pull it. Swing. That's good. Now, here's a swing circle center right there. And there's the center of gravity here. Where the like not there. You're not, you're not folded here. Your back is arched in. Your back goes into an arch so you can get this right side on. If it doesn't go into an arch, you go that way. And this, this underneath right side motion. Yeah. That hip lets motion. The, lets that shoulder come around. Yeah. It just hip. follows it, right? You do that and don't turn your head. Mm -hmm. That way. Now, to, come on now. Now, come on up. Yeah. Okay. okay. See, you have muscles that are in, are in play here. I'm going to show you some muscles. You have a muscle coming from this pubis bone right here. It's the bottom of the torso. It's going to come up toward the left shoulder, but stop at the eighth rib. And it's likewise on the other side, making that letter V. Then we have a muscle coming from the base of this xiphoid, coming over here to the two part ligaments. And one coming from here to the left two part ligament. That looks like an A, right? When you turn, you use the synergistic movements of the, this is the internal, this is the external obliques. When you turn to the left, or when you, you make your left side turning to the ball, your chest is turning to the right, you're using one half of this and one half of this, and you're using the transverse muscle coming across here like this, and that's in the front, muscles of the stomach. Now, when I go this way, I'm gonna use these muscles like this, and that's, those muscles are pulling, it's turning, and you go through with the right side underneath the spine, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see you do it. Just take your stomach and do that, that way. Now, do it the other way, yeah. and you feel the muscles in play. Yeah, it's wine. Yeah. This boy, I, don't know, I love this because yeah. you let your chest just wind up right over that leg. Yeah, that's right. Now, the, these muscles are stretched. That's the rectus abdominis muscle, and these are cramped, or cramped, shortening. It keeps your head back. If you let those, that go, your head swings ahead of your body, and it's got to stay there. Now, I think this will covers the actions of that. Mike, let's go out on the golf course and hit a few variety shots. When you have an uphill lie, because the foot is higher than your right, you have to flex the left foot to have the position of the shoulders that you should have to strike it proficiently. So I'm going to get around here. 
I'm going to flex my left knee that, that way. Now my hips feel like falling to the ground here. But if I did this, they'd be slanted down. So you are flexing this knee and you're extending this knee. When you hit, you have to move off of that heel. And you're playing the ball a little forward instead of playing it in the normal lie because you're going to make it go high. You understand? You're playing it right there. When you come in here, you come into the ball like that and come in under it, and it puts it up there, and it doesn't roll very much. Now, Michael, get your position of your feet and shoulders. You Okay, so I'm not straightening that left leg. I'm no. just I'm cramping it where it'll no, fit the side. No, you're straightening the right leg and bending yeah. the left. Where's the weight on the right foot? You'll feel more weight on the right because of the gravity. But your left leg is flexed. No, mm -hmm. it's bent. It's bent. You're straightening your right. Now, now mm -hmm. that squares up your body. Mm -hmm. Understand that way. You have to flex. Now, okay. now when you come back, you got to shift into that heel as much as you can. Now, all right, pick up the heel. Bend that knee, okay? It won't bend as freely because of the gravity working against it. All right. Okay, let's see you do it. Mm -hmm. That's right. You feel more balance right there with that knee flex. This is the only exception I have with that knee bending this position, okay? Mm -hmm. Almost hit it in the hole, but. You, you, I, I want you to let the hands work under it. Okay. You're not hitting it down, you're raising it. Just come on up under it. Now flex that left knee, straighten the right knee. Now you'll hit it that way. Okay. 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 Hit another. Okay, flex that left knee, straighten the right knee. More hands. Yeah, have to. Yeah, put the ball a little more, more forward so you can get it up a little higher. That's more like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now watch your head. You're going to keep the head steady. Okay. Turn that head. You lose precision. That's way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that's the uphill lie. Downhill lie. You have to flex, over flex. The right leg over flex it. Now normally be about there you're here. Now see my shoulders there and I'm in balance. But if I get here I'm off balance, gravity will want to pull my head toward that low point. So you flex your right knee more than you do in a regular shot, okay? Okay. Like yeah, move your weight onto the left leg. Mm hmm That way. Now it's free and you it? play it like in a closed position. No, sir. Play it just normal, that right there. All you're doing is you have an open knees position. Mm -hmm. All right, now come on back. You can't. Now let the left knee that. Now cock your hands and hit it that way. Okay, and let the hip moves over. Move over. Look, that way. Keep your head back. That way. Now the left, right shoulder is turning underneath the spine. Mm -hmm. Now let the hands freer. Let the hands go freer that way. So do I cut, cut underneath it or yeah. I don't hold it? No, you want to. Boom. You want this thing to go in, into a right angle. I, after you hit the ball, the club at the wrist okay. is going into a right angle. Let's go ahead and through. Do that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. Now you've got a real deeply flexed right knee. All right, and you've got your weight against that right hip now. Come on. Now pick up the heel. Pick up the heel that way. Just pick up the heel. Now, that's all. That's the way you hit, hit the downhill shots like that. Okay. Right. to get them up. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, you can hit and keep it low, easy. But we're trying to raise the ball, which is the toughest thing to do in golf, hit it down, lie, and uh, raise it. Understand? Okay. Just hit it? Yeah. Now, right. See how that ball got elevation off or down? Yeah, it's good measured, too. Yeah. Don't, don't allow the to the, the center or the no it's near the no it's near near the center line more more so than it would regular shot it's a little bit behind the center okay now see it's the highest point you have to excellent now that's your up and down now side heel lie where the club is lower than your feet now when you get that you got to sit back more sit uh, back into the hill sit back into the hill 
Now, your balance is, is uh, pretty your thing here. Get your feet a little, little closer together. Down. Now, you're going to swing more or less from here. And you're, you're retaining or maintaining balance, but let the knee flex and then let it. Now, come when you come forward, let the right heel raise. Right heel raise that way. But you understand by sitting back like this, gravity don't pull you into the bottom of the hill. Okay? So if I was like this, I could be you'd generally yeah, like You'd that. be going, going into the bottom of the hill. You, okay. you kind of balance uh, by moving the deer ear way behind the Ball hill. in the middle of the stance? Yes, off the middle. Now pick up the right heel. You got to be on the left heel when, when you do it. Keep your chin still. Okay. All right. Let's see you hit, the, hit that duck out there. <laughs> hit that duck out Correct. All right. Mm -hmm. that's, that's good enough. You, okay. try, you can make another swing if you want to.